I'm sorry I couldn't be with you in person tonight. I've been looking my entire life for a wormhole that would pop me out wherever I want to go without having to eat airplane food. Then I could make my own personal Brexit whenever I wanted to. But I still haven't found it. In 1916, 100 years ago, when Albert Einstein presented his theory of general relativity to the world, he predicted the discovery of gravitational waves. Scientists have been trying to confirm the existence of these waves ever since. In February of this year, our award recipients announced that they'd succeeded. Their work is nothing less than a revolution for the entire field of astronomy. The scientists you have at your dinner tonight have given mankind a completely new way of looking at the universe. Until now, we've gathered information about the universe through light, radio waves, and other electromagnetic sources. This discovery marks the first time we've been able to test our predictions of general relativity by measuring strong highly dynamic gravitational fields. This is also the first time scientists have directly observed black holes merging. Along with confirming Einstein's beautiful theory, the detections agree with predictions that I and other scientists have made about black holes. I'm grateful to them for that. With their data, we may now be able to estimate the positions of far-off cosmic bodies far more accurately than ever before and to see more deeply into the Big Bang at the beginning of our universe. They've given me new things to think about, too. For instance, the mass of each of the two black holes was larger than we would have expected. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Thorne, Vice, Graver, and Barish on their 2016 Smithsonian American Ingenuity Award. The ripples of their work will flow through the field of astrophysics for many years to come.